Act like we never left. BDA, man. And we back, yo. Welcome back. Um, Today, I have a few things to talk about. Not that many things going on right now, but a few things, okay? And the first thing. um, The Weekly Shonen Jump official translation has dropped. And normally, what I do um, every week is I cross-reference the official translation with the scanlation right I, I do that and i go over it and see the differences and you know point those out we discuss them whatever so that's what we're doing today okay for the one piece chapter 810 we're going to go through it and see what was the difference in you know any of the story any of the different things um and we're just going to go through it because uh, uh, because i recently read the chapter um on the weekly shonen jump and um I guess it's a few things. Um, it's not that many things, okay? It's, it's not that many things at all. So we're going to go through it quickly. Quickly. All right, we're going to go through it quickly. All right, so the first thing for One Piece 810. Okay, with the curly hat pirates arrive. Um, everything on the cover page was pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Um, the cover page had no real difference, right? I mean, it was It was the same. So, um, the official translation, um, I know on the scanlation it said, before them stands Jack the Drought on the tra official translation, we did not see that. That didn't, it didn't say that. I mean, that's just a small thing that they added, I guess, but I, you know, that's, that's nothing. Um, another thing is, um, in, um, in the scanlation or manga stream, manga panda, it said, I see the ancient form of the Zozo no Mi, huh? That's a rare delicacy you've eaten there. On the official translation, it says, an ancient model of the Elef Elef fruit. Real rare power you got there. So, the Zozo no Mi, I mean, I guess we could have made the assumption that it meant um, elephant. You know what I'm saying? The elephant, elephant fruit. So, they just... Um, kind of break it down more simpler in the official translation. So the ancient model of the LFL fruit, um, real, real power you got there. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, I guess, okay, so here it is. Um, in the scanlation, Jack says, that's funny. I didn't think there were any true warriors left on this island. But on the official translation, Jack says, didn't think they had this many warriors left. So, I guess in the scanlation, Jack references the quality of the warriors. In the official scanlation, Jack references the number of warriors. I think that's a key difference. That's definitely a key difference because, you know, the quality and the number, that's, that's, that's different. Okay, so I guess in the scanlation, um... Jack was giving him more credit when he says true warriors. And this one, he's just saying, I didn't know they had this many people left. Like, he didn't care about quality, true, whatever. It's just this many people. Um, as far as the whole pull, you should have pulled out, <laughs> pull out, you should have pulled back when dog, um, the dog fella, whatever, um, gave you the exit. That's pretty much the same. That's the same for the most part. Um, the thing with Beppo, um, yeah, wait, wait, wait. okay, so here was, here's what it says, because in the scanlation, it says, you lot is still in my care, if you don't want to fight, that's no skin off my back, on the official scanlation, he says, don't bother with fighting, you're still under my care, okay, so... It's it's now is so much clearer. Like he's telling Beppo, don't don't bother fighting. You're you're still on the mic here. Okay, so I guess Beppo was like an honored guest coming back. Um, where in the scanlation it made it seem like he's like, all right, Beppo, I know you just you're not gonna represent for us anymore. But this one, he's telling Beppo not to fight. You're like, you know, that's you know, um, this is our hometown, whatever. So, um. And then right after, you know, in the scanlation, he says, that is definitely not how it's going to go down, Master. The official says, 
I don't think so, boss. You know what I'm saying? Um, he says, I don't think so, boss. I might be a pirate, but this is all be always be my hometown. Um, which is pretty much what they said in Scanlation, but um, in Scanlation as well, he says, I'll be damned. Official translation says, well, you talk like a man, <laughs> you know, um, slight differences there. It's just more simple and broken down better in the official translation. Okay, let's move forward. And this is to the point where Dogstorm attacks Jack. Right, Dog Storm attacks Jack, and I guess um, right now, okay. So what is he saying? Yeah, in this official scanlation, the battle continued day and night for five whole days. We were unable to stop Jack's reinforcements from continually arriving by sea. They were like an unstoppable zombie army. Okay, but over time we steadily and surely overcame the enemy. If anything, there was just one place where we couldn't break them down, and that was Jack, for he was truly a monster. Um, and then, this is a huge one, okay? This is a huge one that I questioned, because I was like, um, I don't think Luffy ever says that, because we remember the scanlation, but Luffy said, to think a monster like that is just Kaido's errand boy. And I was like, okay, there has to be a translation mishap. And for certain it was. That's not what Luffy said. Okay? So Luffy says, so even this guy couldn't beat him. And that's just an underling of Kaido. Okay? Underling is completely <laughs> different from Aaron Boy. Underling means he's just, you know, he's undering. He's under him. He, re he reports back to Kaido. Aaron Boy suggests that he's not even anything. Like, he's just a, a toss away. Like, you just run errands. That's all you do. That's So, underling. That's what Luffy said. Okay? So, that's 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 the difference there. Um, uh, let's see. For, fortunately, I'm back to the scanlation now. So for, fortunately, Jack was equally unsuccessful in, defeat, in defeating either of us. I guess you could say that our steadfastness caused his patience to run out. On this one, he, it says, but the reverse was true as well. Jack's power was not enough on its own to topple our two kings. After a while, he grew tired. Okay, it, it changes. Because, oh my gosh, on the scanlation, it says, I guess you could say, our steadfastness caused his patience to run out, right? On the fish scanlations, it says, after a while, he grew tired. So, does that take away from the jack hype? Because at first he thought it was patience. On this one, it says, he got tired. On the fifth day. And the, the man was fighting for five days. Eh. You know. But the thing is. I don't know if he. If he well let's say he got tired. Uh, you know I'm not sure if they're insinuating he got tired of fighting. Or he just got physically tired. Because he causes patience to run out. Could be getting tired of fighting. But I think is Maybe he got physically tired. After fighting for five days. Because it says after a while he grew tired. You know, they would why didn't they, you know, expound upon he got tired of fighting. So that's different there. So it says, um, official scanlation now. Official translation now, I mean. He says he finally decided to bring out a weapon. It was a poison gas weapon. Okay, it only took a second. The killer gas spread through our land with the force of a blast. Who could possibly evade such a thing? Okay, so that's pretty much the same there. Um, official translation, the gas swallowed all of the city and half of the forest. It completely immobilized us. Virtually everyone aside from those evacuated inside the fortress were wiped out. For what happened next, I do not even want to recall. Um, I, he's going around asking questions. He said they just kept repeating questions that they, that they knew the answer to. As they brought our land to ruin one mink at a time. You know. Um, 
so says the mighty were crucified and subjected to torture. Duke says, please stop. The people of this land know nothing. There's no need for pointless death. It is sheer cruelty and nothing more. Um, they then go on to say, Dog Viper in the official says, I will remember you after death, Jack, until the day you lie dead from a cat's curse. It says the slaughter continued for an entire day. And on the 6th, they either had their full of destruction, their fill of destruction, or they grew tired of hearing the same answer. Jack left behind a few dozen of his men, then departed this place. That's horrible. What an awful, hopeless experience. Okay, so... I see that so far, everything is, those are the slight differences. Like, I'm going through it now, and I'm looking at it. Those are the slight differences. Um, Brooks Soul Parade. Let's see what the name of that's called in the scanlation. Uh, I guess the Soul Parade is called, what is Soul Parade called in that? In the, in the, in the, Scanlation Soul Parade is called Icebun. Okay, um, <laughs> okay, it's called Icebun. Soul Parade Icebun. In the official, it says Soul Parade Iceburn. Uh, you know, it's. I guess it makes the translation makes it easier to understand what you're reading. Because Icebun provided absolutely nothing for me with Soul Parade. Okay? Icebun, I just thought it was something cool Brooke said, and I moved on. Ice Burn. It's like, okay. I maybe you know, the ice is so fast you get burned by cold ice. You know, it, it's it's different. You can analyze it better. You know, that's why, you know, I prefer the the Fisher translations, obviously. Um so uh, I guess going forward now, everything else, like uh, another big one was um, on the scanlation with Dogstorm and Cat Viper, right? Where it says, um, I'm Pedro, I need your help. Please, Duke and Arashi and Master Nekamamushi, please treat their wounds or they're going to perish. Those, he said, the world is waiting on, on them. Those two of all people must not be allowed to die. Official translation, uh, my name is Pedro, please help. I beg of you see to do Dork Storm and Cat Viper before they die. The world awaits them. They must be saved. They must not die under any circumstances. So, not much there. It's the same thing. They did, they did that part really well. They said the same thing. The world is waiting on them. So, um, the official translation, the scanlations for this past week wasn't that bad i mean you had some differences that could be misinterpreted um but it was not that bad okay it was it was it was cool but again i all I suggest to people who can you know get the official translation to support one piece for sure and you know to support the industry you know if you can it's like uh, i think it's like 25.99 for yearly subscription you know, and you can you get every week Shonen Jump releases their um their issue, and you have you know Book and Hair Academia, uh, I believe Black Clover, One Piece, um all these different series you know are in it. Um, let me let me go through real quick and see exactly what um what shows, um what shows are right now or in this issue. Okay, so we have this we had World Trigger, Black Clover, Toriko. Um, One Piece, Boku no Hero Academia, Bleach, Food Wars, in this one issue. Um, Nisekoi, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, Kazuki Takahashi Interview, Yu Yu Hakusho. And the Jump Back it version, or part of it. So, it's good, man. It's good. I'm, 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 I'm definitely suggesting it. I'm, I always suggest, like, as much as you can support the industry... Please do because then it helps us. Um, uh, then more can be put back, can be put back into, um, you know, the uh, anime. If, as far as you know, them making an anime as for how, how it looks and just just the industry as a whole, and it improves our experience. So if you can support it, all right, all right. Now I want to talk about Boku no Hero Academia. 
Um, I didn't do a review on it as yet, so why not go through the chapter? This has an official translation as well, and I already read through it. So pretty much what's happening, right? Um, they are training their quirks, and Class A wants to stand out from Class B. But what's happening is, because <laughs> it was funny, because right after it said training your quirks, it went, it, it went into like a hell scene. They said hell on earth, basically, because everyone just started trying all these different things to train their quirks. And you saw Todoroki, he's bathing in cold water that's lit on fire. Um, you saw Bakugo, he has his hand in water. It's like, you see, um, um, what's his name? Um, you see Deku just punching. But then they're like, okay, how are you going to keep track of all of our quirks? You know, there's 40 of us all together. There's only six of you. And then, we, you know, they brought in the Pussycats. And the Pussycats, they have very specific powers, okay? We have Ragdoll, who her power is um, Search. She, she, she knows everything about anyone she lays eyes on, up to 100 people at a time. So she can just watch them and locate their weaknesses. And we have Earth Flow um, from Pixie Bob that can create the perfect training environment for each of you. So that's very helpful. And then Mandalay. She can use a telepathy, telepathy to give advice to to each of them okay so that's what basically happened and um it was funny because we, we, we saw like um these people right okay I'm, I'm forgetting one person um is the uh tiger and i'm here to punch and kick you in the shape okay that was just <laughs> that was the person who has you know um you know the uh, the simple quirks, I guess, as far as um, to the core, it's just about they're going to rip apart your muscle fibers. Because that's what it's saying. Um, your, your, quirk gets, your quirk gets to a point that you have to go past your limit, break down your muscle fibers for it to you know, create new ones that are stronger. And that's just like, I guess, working out, essentially, where you break down your muscles um, and you stress your muscles so that you know it can improve and grow. So... Um, so that makes sense. That makes sense there. Um, so pretty much in this chapter, we had all of them going in, trying to improve their quirk. You see Deku talking to himself, saying, you know, I've been through so much. I trained my body. I worked at Gran Torino, and All Might gave me this power. So I have to really improve, right? This is something I have to do. I have no option here. So I'm going to do my best. Um, we get to another part where they're talking about cooking and curry and um, Ida. He, he, off, he offers brilliant insight because, you know, he's just over the top with a lot of things he does. So that was interesting. Now, I forget this kid's name. You know the kid from back then who hates, you know, quirks, who looks a lot like Bakugo, I guess. Like his whole facial structure looks a lot like Bakugo, I think. And pretty much Midoriya brings him um, dinner. And he asks him, is your parent water hose? They heard of the water quirk. Um... And, you know, his parents died. So Midoriya was asking, because, you know, yeah, he knows everything about heroes. So he probably knows the story. So he mentioned it to him. He said, oh, is, did, did, um, uh, did they snitch? Did they tell you uh, what was going on? Mandalay, whatever. And he says, no, I just, I just knew the story. I just, you know, basically put two and two together. And then he kind of broke down to him. And Midoriya basically explained to him what he went through as a kid he didn't say it was him but he said you know a friend i know they went through everything they tried everything because they didn't the quirk didn't get passed down right and after the kid you can tell it was getting to him but then he says yo just leave you, you don't know when to shut up just go whatever and then midoriya says okay i'm sorry i couldn't get through to you um i'll just leave the curry here but he definitely got through to him he got through to him because um that kid he um i don't know um it's funny because looking at a panel, it says it never ends with these guys. So annoying. And then I don't know if that's hinting that he does have a quirk. Because we see something there that looks like a punch in the mountain. Okay. Um, it does look like a punch in the mountain. So I think he probably does have a quirk. He probably does have a quirk that he's hiding. And he maybe is ashamed of it. Because it looks like water on the mountain. So, more than likely, this boy has a quirk. He probably has water as well. But I think the best part 
um, one of my favorite parts, if my if not my favorite part of this um chapter was I'm itching to go, let's hurry up and move. It's too soon. Besides, as I already told you, there's no need to do anything flashy. Yeah, but who died and made you boss? This would just be a signal fire. And then we cut to the panel, which was extremely well drawn. We'll fill those whole... Okay, so the, the scanlation says these heroes who are filled with holes. And that kind of insinuated that they're off guard. But that's not what he said. He said, we'll fill those heroes full of holes and put them in their place all for a brighter future. So, you know, the small differences there can totally change the narrative. Can totally change it. So that's what he says. I'm going to fill those heroes full of holes. And I don't know. Is this guy, his neck kind of looks like, um, uh, it just looks like burnt. I guess it looks stitched together. It just looks amazing. They just look so OP. And it's just four of them. And they're going to attack 40 people with, you know, all those teachers there. And it's just like, all right, I want to see what goes down because they must be super confident in their abilities. You know, we have one that's dressed like um, uh, like Jason with a cloak. Um, we see one that looks like Gray with his half his face stitched together. Um, we see another one who looks like um, Bastille from uh, One Piece, but a girl. Um, and then another one who kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, it, looks, it has on like a snorkel with like regular school clothes. So it should be dope. It should be really good next chapter. Boku Hero Academia, people, if you haven't been reading it, get on this hype train. It's going to it's gonna pick up. It's definitely going to pick up. I feel like it's getting popular already. It's not One Punch Man status, but the anime drops next year. So, yeah, definitely get on that hype train, people. But yeah, that's about it. That's everything. I was going to talk about a One Piece special, but I feel like because of how it is and how it turned out, I have to create a separate video for it. I just have to, yo. I have to create a separate video for it. That's how much I enjoyed it. So one piece special coming tomorrow. Um, so I, I definitely enjoyed that. But yeah, let me know what you thought about that. The breakdown of the scanlation versus the official translation for both. Because I, I read the official translation for both. And the Boku no, Hero, Boku no Hero, it wasn't that many differences. Everything was pretty much the same. The one piece, the slight differences that I mentioned. Just let me know what you thought about that. Um, like the video if you did. Um, thank you guys so much for the support. I always appreciate it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That would be dope. Have a wonderful day, people.